Hey, what's up, Pedro and Homos? My name is Tommy Green. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and you are watching me, Tommy Green. I thought it would be a good idea if today I unleash my inner artist and follow one of the masters of painting, Bob Ross. <laughs> I'm going to be painting a Bob Ross on my wonderful canvas here. I'm an artist. I have my colors. Now I'm going to start following a Bob Ross tutorial. Take a little bit of the Indian yellow, just a very small amount Indian on the two inch yellow. brush. Load a little Don't color on the brush. Let's go right up here. Just a little bit. Maybe we'll have a beautiful little sky that's just full of warm colors. And now we're going As I say, sort of makes you feel good when you look at it. Nice so little making little X's, little crisscross strokes, go all the way across the canvas. Now we're just going to do some nice little crisscrosses on our canvas. Just like in the way Mr. Ross did it. I am an artiste. <clears throat> Excuse me, I didn't even wet my brush before it started. Wow, what type of artist am I? I'm an artist. Now we're going to go into the waterline down here and add some of this yellow into the waterline. Wow. We're gonna dip into some yellow ochre. Without cleaning the brush, let's just put into a little bit of, of the yellow ochre. Once again, you do not need a great deal of paint, the little just, just a little paint. Go right above the yellow, just the still little. making our little crisscross strokes, a little X's. And some gorgeous crisscrosses of paint. Crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. Criss. Easy. Time to get crazy. Let's go right into the bright red. And still, we haven't washed the brush, just a little bit of the bright red. And right up here, making our little X's, little crisscross strokes, we'll add a little bit of that. And red's such a warm color, it just, it just makes you feel good when you look at it. it. Makes you happy, you almost can't help it. Add a little that down here too. In the water, we're just going to reflect the same basic colors that we have in our sky. Something about like that. He's going so quick, and I'm trying to keep up. Okay, so now we have our colors like that. He hasn't cleaned his brush, so I'm just gonna grab some water right now and just blend my colors into each other just a little bit more. And make them nice and crisscross, crisscross. Crisscross, crisscross. Wow, color. <laughs> Alizarin crimson. Dab, 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 dab. Now we're gonna turn into our blue, our blue shade, all together. Oh no, I accidentally got green in there. Ah, no. I'm an idiot and I just got green in my color. So I have to remix my color, no. Ah. Color, we'll just, we'll just fill in the top of the sky. Thalo blue and glycerin crimson. And you can, you can take this to the blue side or the red side. Just sort of depends on your mood and how you feel. It's strictly and completely up to you. Maybe, should, maybe I'll tell you what, look here. Add a little bit more color to my brush. Maybe in our world there lives, yep, you're right, just a happy little cloud up here. We can, we can make the indication of a little cloud. Wow, and then we're just going to add a happy little cloud. I'm an artist. Something like that. Now then, while we have that lavender color on the brush, the blue and the crimson, we'll just come down here and fill in the whole bottom of this. Once again, all we're doing here is just reflecting the colors from the sky into the water. There we are. Now then. Let's take and wash the old brush. Shake it off. So now we have to clean our brush. <laughs> and just beat the devil up. Ah. Beat the devil out of it. Three and then we go in with our dry brush. We'll just go right over those. Just blend them. We blend them to our little heart's content. 
Would you look at that? Blended! Wow, I'm an artiste. This looks so good. I'm an artist. Make your first major decision. Where does your mountain live? Maybe in our world? Yep, it does now. Our mountain lives right there. Now we have to make the first big decision and decide where our mountain is going to go. I think my mountain is going to go right here. Not doing what it should be doing. Ah! With a very firm pressure, just literally push the paint right into the fabric, right into the fabric. This is a chance to really get tough. Take out all your frustrations and hostilities and whatever. Maybe there's a maybe there's another little peak right there. Wherever you want them. Wherever you want them. So I have my mess of a mountain on the sheet. So we're just gonna stroke down and blend this mountain out. Stroke down and blend. No, why are you mixing? No, I don't want you to mix. Sir, madam, no. Ah! I'm trying my best to follow the tutorial, but it's really hard. Like, really hard. I need help. I need an actual artist here to help me. I'm an artist. Oh my god, <laughs> I just fell. <laughs> I have my mountains all blended out right now. Um, I'm just gonna quickly grab some of the mountain color because this paint is still wet because it's acrylic and acrylic takes five ever for dry. And then I'm just gonna slowly add some into the bottom of my canvas. Wow, love that. It looks so good. I'm an artist. No pressure. So now we are going just to add right some down. snow on no, these. No pressure. Absolutely no pressure. I'm having so much fun doing this. Um, however, it looks really bad still, so I'm just gonna... I'm an artist. I've got to the point with this mounting where I don't even care. It looks so bad and I give up. Ah, I hate art. I hate art. It's too freaking hard. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Oh my god, that no. Ah! I'm gonna try and fix it now. Now he wants me to blend everything out like it is That's floating I mean. in the mix. So, I mean, I guess I will. Considering half my paint is still wet, um, the blending thing's gonna be an issue because if I blend too much, it's gonna look like poo poo. I'm just gonna blend really goodly, because apparently goodly is a word, it's not. I'm an artist. Wow, it looks so good. <laughs> ah, I just, no, ah, oh, no, ah, it fell off. But I've just added in some more happy little mountains down here. Um, let me tell you, there is nothing happy about doing this mountains just by doing something as simple as this, just tapping downward. Just tapping downward. There, grow some happy little evergreen trees. I'm to sketch in our as lovely little tree. Bristles, as you work down a tree, here. push harder and harder, bending the bristles. Oh. Down here, oh, we're really getting tough. We're One long stroke the down the side. Right now it's a, right now it's a skinny tree. Wow, I'm having a tree come to life. I'm birthing a tree. So I've added my trees and now I have to add some bushes. Ah! <laughs> oh, you have no idea how stressful it is to try and paint one of these freaking Bob Rosses. It is the fact that we don't make mistakes. Because there are no mistakes. It's just happy accidents. But when you're copying, there are mistakes. Because you don't put things a certain way. There is a mistake you have messed up. You are no longer an artist. You are a failure. I'm an artist. So now we're going to add some sparkles happy little bushes, bushes in here. Um, he said we have to do one bush at a time. 
but I don't have time for that. So I'm just gonna quickly add my brushes in there. There's a little bit of red on my brush as well because I was mixing and it was just not that great. Tippity tap tap tap, tap 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 tap, tap 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 tap. So we're just gonna add some more color for our bushes, some layers just to create some depth in our painting. In our masterpiece. Hate myself, I hate myself. I, I put too much on. Oh no, no, ah! Yeah. Take some Van Dyke Brown. Um, and let's put some land under all this. Just create some land. Pull sort of the angle that you think the land would flow. That was flow. too thick. <laughs> like this. Tippity tap, tippity tap. There we go. Chances are, that's not. Un wow, it looks so good. <laughs> No, I don't. It looks so bad. I'm an artist. All right, heteros and homos, that there is it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy me unleashing my inner artist and painting a Bob Ross, please give this video a big thumbs up and also do hit that big red subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys next time I upload a brand new video. Goodbye! I'm an artist.